Hello and welcome back to our 8-part video series on types of businesses. In this series, we help you choose the best suited structure for your startup based on several factors like legal provisions, ownership control, management structure, liability, taxation, access to capital, and more. Particularly for this video, we will take up the cost of compliance in business. Our objective is to compare the different types of businesses including sole proprietorships, partnership firms, LLPs, and companies on this factor to analyze which of these best suits your business. So, let's begin. Why is compliance requirement important for businesses? Compliances are the backbone of financial management and legal adherence in a business, heavily impacting the overall cost of operations. Be it financial reporting, accounting, maintaining records, or adhering to industry standards, compliances set the foundation for a business to thrive and succeed. Besides, it also helps avoid unnecessary penalties, additional expenses, and other legal consequences that may hamper its activities. When it comes to different business structures, the degree and cost of compliance differ drastically. Let's look into the details. Sole Proprietorship A sole proprietorship is the simplest business structure in India as it hardly has any regulatory compliances to meet. All you need to do is maintain proper records of business transactions, income, and expenses regularly. Although the business account and proprietor's account are the same, separation in records helps achieve greater transparency and enhanced financial management. Additionally, to carry out business activities legitimately, proprietorships must obtain industry-specific licenses like FSSAI for food businesses, drug licenses for pharmacies, and SARA for security agencies. Finally, GST payment in the business's name and income tax payment in the proprietor's name are absolutely necessary if the income or turnover exceeds the limit set by the government. Partnership firms. Similar to sole proprietorships, partnership firms also have fewer regulatory compliances. These mainly include maintaining proper business accounts and adhering to tax regulations under GST and income tax laws. Further, if the firm belongs to a particular industry, then seeking licenses and permits to operate legally is a must. Besides, a major compliance requirement also arises from the partnership deed, which is a key document regulating the firm's activities. This document contains the terms related to capital sharing, profit sharing and liabilities of the partners, aside from crucial procedures regarding partners' admission and removal. Non-compliance with the partnership deed can lead to legal conflicts adding up to the overall expenses of the business. Limited Liability Partnerships LLPs are upgraded versions of partnership firms and offer several advantages over them. However, when it comes to compliance requirements, they have stricter regulations adding up to their expenses every year. Annual Filings First up, are annual filings in Form 11 and Form 8. While Form 11 is required to submit annual returns, Form 8 is required to submit annual financial statements of the LLP. Annual financial statements include a balance sheet, profit loss statement, and cash flow statement along with a declaration stating that the LLP has been a solvent entity in the financial year. Both Form 8 and Form 11 are filed to the Registrar of Companies through eForms available on the Ministry of Corporate Affairs website. The due date for submitting Form 11 is May 30th, whereas that of Form 8 is October 30th after the end of the financial year. Annual Audit of Financial Statements Financial statements submitted in Form 8 must be prepared and audited in time. While preparing it, partners must use the double-entry system of accounting and finalize the statements within 180 days from the end of the financial year. As far as the audit requirements are concerned, they apply only when LLP's turnover exceeds 40 lakhs or capital exceeds 25 lakhs in a financial year. Industry-based compliances. Apart from these annual requirements, LLPs have to comply with industry standards as well. This includes obtaining and renewing licenses that provide legitimacy to their operations. For instance, LLPs must have a FSSAI license to deal in food, an eating house license to establish a restaurant, a trade license to run a retail shop, and a factory license to manufacture. We have linked our detailed blog on industry licenses in the description below. LLP Act and Agreement LLPs are governed by the LLP Act as well as the LLP Agreement drafted and signed by the partners. Every regulation and condition mentioned in these documents must be complied with to avoid penalties and adverse legal consequences. Also, non-compliance with the LLP agreement may develop conflict among partners leading to hindered business operations. The bottom line is compliance requirements for LLPs are not as lenient as those of sole proprietorships and partnership firms. Yet they're a preferred option when you need a strong legal base and identity to operate. Companies. When it comes to compliance requirements, companies become a challenging choice. 
They have way more compliances to meet than any other structure we've discussed so far. This drastically increases their overall cost of operations and makes it difficult to manage the available resources. Some of the major compliances we will discuss now will give you a clearer picture. Compliance with the Companies Act. All companies in India, irrespective of their size, scale, and type, are governed by the Companies Act of 2013. This law regulates every aspect of companies, from its incorporation to closure. Adherence to the provisions of the Act is extremely important, and any discrepancy may lead to fines, penalties, or even shutting down of business operations. You may hire a legal professional or simply consult us if you face any problems. Record keeping. Transparency and credibility are the two pillars on which a company operates. To achieve these, they must maintain proper financial records, registers, and details of annual general meeting or board meetings organized to make crucial decisions. These records must be updated regularly and kept at the registered office, open for inspection by government officials and stakeholders. If the records are supposed to be submitted to the registrar of companies, it must be done in time. Financial reporting and audit. Companies are required to prepare their annual financial statements by the end of every financial year. These statements must contain the annual balance sheet, profit loss statement, and cash flow statement. Once they're prepared, the company's auditor must audit these documents before their submission to the registrar of companies. The e-form used for this purpose is AOC-4 and the due date for submission is October 29th after the end of financial year. Annual ROC Returns Companies must also file annual returns of its updated details and financial status to the registrar of companies every year. These details must be filed in Form MGT-7 and submitted on the official MCA website. The due date for doing so is November 29th after the end of financial year. Filing annual returns are an effective way to keep the company's records updated with the government. Tax Compliances Finally, companies must adhere to tax laws under Income Tax and GST Acts, if applicable. Returns must be filed timely after the payment is done to ensure correct reporting of income and turnover. Consult our tax experts if you need any assistance. This completes our discussion on compliances for different types of companies. To sum up, if you're looking to establish simpler structures with low cost of compliance, you can go for proprietorship or partnership firms. On the other hand, if you want your business to rest on the sweet balance of lesser compliance with greater transparency and credibility, you can go for LLP. Lastly, if the cost of compliance isn't a significant factor for you as much as transparency and credibility are, a company will be the best choice. Found this video helpful? Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content ahead. Post any queries you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.